Hi guys, Karen here with another video. Welcome back to our channel. Thank you so much for watching. Today, I'm planting quite a bit. Um, I'm planting lilies. These lilies I found at Home Depot. They, I always like to see how far down I have to plant them. And these are really far gone. They're ready to come up. Um, they should have been marked down, but they weren't. I also got alyssum, all of these burpee um, seeds from Target and this basil plant I um, got that at Home Depot as well um, it's really pretty and so let's get started so first off I always like to read the directions because I am notorious for not doing that and planting things either too deep or not deep enough and so I like the Alyssa. I'm going to plant it here because I already have the calendula here, but I want something to cover the whole area and some over there as well. So they're uh, really tiny seeds. So I'm just dropping them in. They tend to come up in a few days. So we'll see what that looks like in a couple of days. And then you just like barely cover it when you put it in. Now I'm just waiting for some heat to come so all of these uh, seedlings can get started and take off. And yes, I do have some basil in there as well. So I'm gonna take the alyssum as well as these zinnia seeds and head over here. So right on the edge, I'm going to add the alyssum because once again, I want that ground cover and um, and then I'm just going to rub it in around the garlic because the garlic is probably going to come out of here. It's probably going to be harvested around June. And these are the zinnia seeds. And this is just part of me doing some succession planting. I've already planted the zinnia seeds here, but I'm going to keep doing them until I see, you know, that I have like a lot of them here because I do want to plant a lot of flowers this season. So I'm just scratching the surface a little bit because we will get rain this weekend. And so I've done it in quite a few places here and over there. And so now I'm gonna to head to the other side and I'm going to add some into here as well. And then I'm also gonna put them in here. <laughs> So as these tubes die back, I want the zinnia seeds to come up like they did last year. So I'm just planting some there as well. And now with the lilies, I would like to plant them along the fence line. As you can see, we did all of the daffodils, but and I wanted to do sunflower seeds last year, but it did not go well. They did not grow, whether it was because they didn't get enough sunlight, but the daffodils did amazing over here so I'm gonna to try to do the lilies over here and that should work because they can survive in partial Sun as well so I've got that one done and I'm gonna start here and I'm just moving up uh, as I go so we've got there here um, and right here now I'm just going all the way down the side and I'm probably going to go back and get another pack to make sure that we have them we have quite a few to, um, lilies coming up and um, I like this because next year there will be more daffodils and then the lilies will come up right behind it so this is day two I'm planting some Veronica um, some salvia marigolds I have a little bit more uh, basil and rosemary and I got all of these from the Durham Garden Center it's a local garden center in my area and this is kind of drooping off so I want to propagate it um, I don't see where the other ones are having that issue so I'm just gonna take this one put it in some water and uh, make it into a new plant and let's plant the marigolds and I'm going to try and put a lot of these in the garden as well. Yes. 
and then I'm coming back to get the rosemary and basil because we Maya and I are working on a project that we will tell you guys about in the coming weeks um, so we're trying to get as many herbs in the ground as possible so I think I'm going to plant the basil here or maybe I decided to plant it over there and here are our marigolds and then I think I have a volunteer chamomile plant right there um, but this is our herb bed so far. We have a lot going on. I'm going to put the rosemary right here. And I'm going to continue along the edge with rosemary all the way around. This is our herb bed. Well, we have herbs everywhere, but now the Veronica. Um, I'm... I saw something on Patchwork City Farms. If you've watched that over on HBO Max, um, I just love that gardening show. Um, but she squeezes all of her plants, especially when she's going to um, try to separate them. I thought that was a great idea. And so far, so good. It has been working um, for plants that do have too many in them. And this is one of them. So I'm going to use this knife and I cut it in half. And as you can see, now I have two plants and it has a lot of roots. So, you know, two for one. <laughs> and I'm putting them, this is salvia. I put the Veronica in this pot. Um, the other part in that one. And I'm trying to change out all of the pots. Um, and I have salvia that I put in this one as well. Um... So I need to finish off the rest of these pots in the area. Um, last year, I was trying to make cucumbers uh, grow in the bigger pots, and that's viola. Um, this is another salvia. I don't think I'm going to be able to cut this in half, um, so I think I'm just going to plant it as is. So now we have the salvia, veronica, veronica, salvia and the salvia plant in the front and I'm just gonna cut back the daffodils so not to worry and I might put something else in there I'm not sure but we have um, quite a bit still and um, so much to change out and redo so I'm excited about that let me know what you all are doing in the comments below and I will see you guys in the next one thank you for watching bye